Hey guys, in this video we get the uh, firewall installed into the cruiser. Hey guys, quick update. So I've pulled the, fuse, the forward fuselage apart again. I think the last videos um, we had the fuselage joined up with the cabin frame on. Um, so here's a look at what we've done. So I pulled the forward fuselage right off completely. Sort of two steps forward, one back. Now I've just um, just reassembling the forward fuselage uh, permanently this time. About to rivet the, some brackets on. I uh, got the gear channel here. I've got to put some doublers. I'll do that while it's, some doublers will go along here while it's not fitted to the um, to the aircraft. Um, and then all my parts are just primed. So I've put a coat of primer on everything or corrosion preventative and ready to go back together so we'll just start the, um, the assembly and just trying not to um, try not to rivet anything too early before it uh, um, you gotta do it in an order the correct order so yeah we'll see how we go but it should turn out well okay landing gear uh, channel I've got the found it easier just to do the uh, the doubles just with the landing gear channel removed from the aircraft and I got my just my $20 right angle drill from off eBay uh, just to get in there and get those bolt holes so that worked out well just about to rivet this up so little jobs each one at a time but nice and nice and it's all cleaned and primed ready to go and we'll rivet and bolt that together and then that gets added obviously to the forward, forward fuselage up the back there which will join the rear fuselage with the cabin frame down there ready to go getting exciting so I riveted last night I riveted the um, forward section of the floor I chose to go with the um, so I've got the heads on the outside of the aircraft in the airflow and I'm going to carpet this is where you, where you this is the heel plate, so your heel's here with your toes toes up to the brake. Um, so I've got the rivet tails poking up, which is not real good if you're going to wear your, wear your flip-flops flying. But um, I'll put a piece of carpet there to cover that up. And the centre console will run down here. We're going well. Alright, the gear channel. Got that nicely riveted in. And a bolt. Easy to do on the bench while it's not installed in the aircraft. Rivets to the outside so the down the carriage will run right in here. Looking good. Okay, we've got the forward um, forward fuselage all attached. That uh, went together pretty well. Got the weldments on just here. Um, let's have a look at those. So with the um, Keep calling them weldments. I don't know. I heard that somewhere, but it's the uh, main main landing gear bracket with the um, strut attachment point. Main landing gear will bolt on here through the channel. The um, channel runs across the fuselage there. So got all the bolts in, riveted, back riveted through here. Got a, the um, seat will go through there, and all these bolts are in. Uh, I chose to go. I put the this skin. If anyone else is doing it on the outside of the gusket gusset that's right on the outside so the air flies over it um, otherwise you end up in reverse you've got that's about 40 thou or 20 thou or something thick of plate was on the um, leading edge side now I've got a nice nice smooth seal um, I had to sort of massage this area here and round the top off to make it nice and neat but now the benefit of doing that, when I get the weldman on, the other aircraft I've looked at, there's no real right or wrong way I don't um, don't see, but it ends up gapless along here, really nice. If you put the skin under the gusset, if that's um, that's probably 40 thou, so you end up with at least a 40 thou gap um, at the back here. Um, so I mucked around with that quite a bit, but really happy with how that's turned out, really nice. Weldments on, rock solid, 
on the inside because I need to show this for um because I'm going to cover up those nuts down the back there so that you can see down see down in there another nut over there for my inspector it's all in safe as well as these nuts along here and the um, the reinforcing bracket along there the doubler another nut nut and bolt which you've got to see later but for inspection purposes I guess they're all in safety I marked around put thinner washers on here just to give me my two threads um, two, th two threads everywhere all torqued up and forward fuselage is reattached this time pretty well riveted on uh, the cage is still still clicked on uh, just to give me an out if I need to one concern I have I guess I've got to mount I've got to drill some more holes in the cage but if I punch a rivet in or something or break a drill off then it's going to live inside that tube um, so I haven't riveted that on yet I don't plan on breaking any drill bits but if I have to punch a rivet out for whatever reason if it doesn't set properly and you punch it in the rivet tail is going to end up floating around in the um, in the tube so yeah I don't want um, loose rivet tails it make, sort of makes sense doesn't it if I was to bugger up that rivet punch in the tail then it's stuck in the tube so that can still come off at this stage also it's about time believe it or not to um, I'll probably have a look at painting the interior and that way too I can take the powder coated cabin frame off spray the interior and keep going on the other side the weldment or the landing gear bracket uh, I've just got to rivet this side and then we'll move on to the seats install the seats all right just come out of the shed it's freezing cold probably about eight degrees um, even the aircraft's cold to touch just flicked on the trusty old got the heater down there so we'll kick it into gear um, tonight I'm going to fit some wheels with these wheels so I'm going to put um, it's come time now to fit some wheels to the to the bench um, I think if I whack I've got four with brakes, four without brakes, I'll put them down the bottom there probably should have done that at the start uh, I was just worried about getting the bench nice and flat um, but on my own, uh, just make it easier to move the aircraft around um, like wheels tend to do I guess um, yeah, so we'll get that done and the fuselage, yeah, got the forward section on a um, little bit lost as to what's next really uh, one thing I have got is the, um, the rudder pedals now the rudder pedal so steel rod into a 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter say that twice um, hole and that's your, that's your pivot so it's just metal on aluminium um, I think we can do that better somehow I might run some Teflon put a, even just a Teflon like bearing in there or get a proper proper ball bearing like make it ball raced um, I don't know just doesn't seem seems a bit a bit home built that part but apart from that going well okay sometimes you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do under the fuselage and I'm gonna rivet the um rivet the gear channel here so I just slid the aircraft forward on the bench and working on my working on my bum tonight and good chance is to have a look underneath Probably should start prepping for paint as well under here. But probably the best seat in the house for these parts. And those that are unfamiliar, this is the um, say the external of the aircraft and all this stuff will uh, hang out in the breeze. All the stiffeners are actually on the um, bottom sides of the fuselage. But I'll get to some riveting. Oh, you can see the, um, you can see my uh, My landing gear attachment bracket with the, uh, the doubler in both sides and these are the holes sorry these ones where the Clecos are just going to finish off the gear channel okay lights camera action <laughs> 
light her up. Another switch over here. All right, g'day guys, out here for another night. Um, I guess one of the problems you run into here is I've got the chapters in the book uh, fitting the forward fuselage and basically finish that. So now you sort of just wonder what you, you know, what I, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight is what I'm getting at, I guess. Um, probably time to fit the firewall. Um, there's a lot of situations where you don't want to fit certain things to um, put in fuel hoses and you know, I've got to think about painting as well. Um, but you're also, there's no real assembly procedure there, like in order to do things. Um, there's, I've got all the chapters printed out, but um, there's nothing that actually tells me do this next. So, a bit of working out tonight what I am actually going to do next. I'll probably fit the firewall, then I might, I think the firewall will come back out and I'll paint the interior of the fuselage, especially the front half before the rudder pedals go in. Um, have a look at that. And I've installed the, um, just put a, put the uh, main control rod in there, the mixer arm, or the, what will that be, it rotates, rotates for aileron control. Um, and it's a bit tight because I've painted it, so I'll just clean that up where it goes through the bearing. Alright, so I'm a couple of hours tonight, no, I'm not too productive. So some nights you build an aeroplane, other nights you just sort stuff out. Um, I've gone through, I'm just looking at all the um, getting the hardware ready for the flight controls. Um, took a bit of sorting out. So with my flight controls just finding all the hardware and getting my head around how the controls actually hook up. Um, had a few, few issues. Um, trying to identify Obviously, when, my, when I did my inventory, you know, you got, well, it says up here, uh, 150 nuts. And you're nuts if you're actually going to count them. So, you know, there's a couple of castellated, I seem to be short castellated nuts. Um, like, for instance, there's four bolts in there with a hole in them, and there's only three nuts left. Um, and the issue I had, with my flight control parts laid out, um, I'm a bit pedantic, I know, I just like everything sorted out. Um, so I'm missing a big dash 7 uh, castellated nut. This bolt will go through the through there, um, which goes into the bell crank, the elevator bell crank. Uh, also missing a castellated nut for the bottom of the yoke. The actual pivot bolt is a nylock nut, which is fine. Um, so I need to get a nut for down there. And there's one other. And also, I think it's a dash 13 bolt, but it's I've got an extra washer under the head. Um, that needs to be about a dash 11, I think. So anyway, a little bit of tweaking here on there. I have to source some nuts and bolts and just change pace, I'll whack the firewall on so I've just clicked that click at the bottom and it's just just sitting there, it's not actually um, not drilled in yet and as far as the aircraft's going, uh, it's looking pretty good I put the firewall on last night and give you a look at that so I just got the firewall Firewalls just click out in at the bottom, um, and there's not much holding, not much holding it there at the top at the moment. I need to need to back drill through the firewall, through the skin into the firewall, hold that on, and then then it's time for um, engine mounts will go down the bottom, and the other the top engine mount sits at the top, obviously um, on the longer on here, up in the, in the bracket that goes in there. Uh, rudder pedals will go down there. So yeah, firewalls on, or click out. I'm going to drill that today. Engine mounts on. Uh, what else? Now then we'll start working on the front front torque tube bearing for the flight controls with the yoke. But going well. So what 
So I haven't got around to putting wheels on the bench yet. I keep keep building the aeroplane. I need to stop and uh, jack up the bench, whack some wheels on it. Bear in mind, I don't want to hit the roof uh, just to make it easier. Also with the seats, um, seats need to come out for access for all the plumbing and electrical. But it's not that uh, simple, so it's a bit of a bit of a Tetris game going on there. Um, seats aren't in, but you, to get the seats in, you need the console out. You need the console in to do the flight controls um, and the front bearing. So there's a lot of uh, two steps forward, one step back going on at the moment. Um, I've worked in some tight spots before. Probably work down in through here. But just we and not sure where I'm heading actually with my plumbing. I'm going to build a, um, it's not a flux capacitor, but the header tank. I'm going to make a header tank picture like a half size jerry can on its side. I'll make something like that up um, to go over there just to route my fuel lines. Keep it relatively simple. Okay, woo. Bit of hard work, but um, look at this. I've got wheels. Got some wheels on the um, table. I just need to, um, it's getting a bit dark outside. Might have to um, yeah, get a move on, get all this stuff back inside before it's about to uh, about to persist down. I said persist, so it's about to rain pretty heavy. Um, but have a look at this. So quickly, just uh, put wheels on the trolley on the bench, which is now a trolley. Yeah, yeah. I was just strapped it on because I was a bit chicken, but uh, did it with the aeroplane on there, tilted it up, and now. I can um, move it fairly easily. Just have to watch out up the top there. I haven't got much clearance, much clearance, clearance, and I've just got the uh, it's sitting up on the two-inch bar just to keep the weldments. I could slot out the bench. We'll see how we go. Plenty more room, so less than load. If you're going to build a bench, put wheels on it, um, especially in a small shed like this. I should have done that in the first place, and trying to do it afterwards is a bit hard. But we've got it done. So onwards and upwards, going well. Right guys, so I'm just making up these forward um, uh, be longerons that run along the between or just rear of the uh, firewall. Uh, it's fairly complex, well for me it's complex sort of shape. have to um, just flute along the bottom of the L angle just to get the curve. You can see that's curved and then I, um, I ran a bit of masking tape on top of that L angle to get the, the curvature of this, this this side skin, pulled the tape off, put it on the top um, support if you like, which is a oversized L angle, and ended up with a nice shape. And now time to well clean it up, rivet and deburr, and do that about six or eight times up the front here. So there is a bit of work involved in these. Um, it's taken me uh, quite a bit of time, but now that I'm any experience as I go along I guess it uh, seems to be working well we're going well and these these are the parts you end up with see where the crimps actually curves the um, L bracket L angle so two nights work um, so a couple of hours each night got the forward longerons uh, riveted in have a look on the inside up in here they're all looking pretty good not too bad a fit. Uh, no one's actually going to see too close, but I reckon that's uh, uh, about 8 out of 10. They'll fit pretty good. And I tuck the edges in so when you're slide, sliding your, um, so your shin will go past, or the passenger's shin, um, if, they, if they're that far across. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty happy with that. They come up pretty good. So I got the longerons in. Has a lot of strength there for the firewall the rest of the night. Rest of the night, I'm just going to play with some nuts and bolts. So I was missing some nuts, uh, which I got this stuff off uh, Australian Aerospace Engineering. Sort of ordered it. Um, they took a couple of days anyway. Some spare bolts. <clears throat> That's a bit embarrassing and not ordering, you know, just a couple of bits here and there. So I just ordered some extras. Um, I think I got. Well, I've got my nut, it's a um, AN310-7, so I've got the nut there, that'll go on this main pivot bolt, 
castellated nut <coughs> and on this particular one I'm not sure if you see it on the on the video but the um, it's already got a washer under the head and the nut and just what it is with the spacer it's a bit hard to show that so I've got head of the bolt a washer through a tube uh, washer onto the bush the bell crank another washer the bush poking out then a washer then the castellated nut which you might be able to see the holes poking out a bit too far so I think that's I think that's a dash 13 so I've got dash 11s dash 12s there just to neaten that up so close the nuts and bolts and the rest of the flight controls I'll um, have a dry run of those and fit them together I just like to run the bolts run the bolts through the holes before you're trying to what's on the bench rather than try to do it in situ and work out that the hole's got a dag in it there's nothing worse than a dag in your hole okay thanks guys I might end that one there uh, I've got the firewall installed started on these uh, brackets rudder pedals have been in played around with the flight controls uh, all going well and uh, thanks for watching